Okay, I'm in a crawl space in Holly Springs. This is a uh, encapsulated crawl space. I, I really like this method. I do think the uh, foam board is really good. It's nice and clean. It does a real good job. It's very dry under here. Um, but the big problem with these and what we have to really be careful of is termites getting behind this insulation. Uh, now, I've had some people say that the inspection gap here, the three inch inspection gap isn't all that important. But if you see all these little tubes right here, all these little dirt things, it's all termites, all termites coming up behind, behind this foam board. And so you absolutely have got to have that termite inspection gap. If, we, if I can't see that during my inspection, I can't tell you those termites are there when you buy this house. And you could have enormous damage showing up. So this, uh, this is actually done right. They have the inspection gap so we're able to catch these termites. Um, so the buyers, you know, they know what's going on here and it can be handled. Um, but if this inspection gap wasn't here, it would, be, it would not be detectable. You would not be able to see it. And uh, this would be a, an enormous issue. So anybody who argues with you that you do not need a 3-inch inspection gap at the uh, top of one of these encapsulations, they are wrong because we see this all the time. Unfortunately, in order to treat this, we're probably going to have to pull this foam board down and um, drill this wall and then uh, reinstall it. Makes it a little bit more expensive, but um, this is the reason for the inspection gap. It, it is a must-have if you do any kind of encapsulation or sealing of a crawl space.